Gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got a special treat as we come to you from the Cobb Energy Center. There is a live tour going around the country. 31 cities will be included, all to celebrate the 20th birthday of those guys down under. No, not that. Yes, the Wiggles. They are in the house. We're going to talk to Murray. What color is he? You're about to find out as we get inside and meet the fans and one of the Wiggles. Come on. <laughs> Who's your favorite Wiggle? Jeff. What's your favorite? Sam. Is it Sam? Sam. 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 <laughs> blue. <laughs> you like the blue one? Yes. Yellow. Is he really cool? Yeah, yellow. Mm, and, and blue. Who's your favorite uh, Wiggle? Which one? Purple. Purple. <laughs> Purple. Right. So Dad, what's the best part of the Wiggles for you and your family? Uh, I think the best part is uh, when we're going to dance around like lunatics and uh, point our fingers and do the twist. Watching her laugh and have fun. A uh, lot more music over and over again, but we're always happy to put them on. Right, buddy? To my home? Oh my goodness, she loves to dance around and it gives me a little bit of free time. <laughs> we love the Wiggles. This is the, uh, gosh, the second round of loving the Wiggles. Our daughter loved them, our children love them, and actually we really like them too. They're really now the question is, has this big man ever been seen dancing to the Wiggles? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he has been seen dancing to the Wiggles. Hi, Wiggles! <laughs> special guest about to appear with us. Are you ready? Murray, come on in. Tell me how I'm doing, brother. You're doing well. What am I doing? Well, you're kind of doing a bit of a wiggle, I guess. <laughs> Murray, what's the best part for you of being a wiggle? I guess it's seeing all the children having a great time. It's a real, real joy in the audience when, uh, when we come out and start performing. And you know, for a lot of children, it's their first uh, experience with any sort of uh, stage show, and, uh, and they, they get so excited. When we introduce Dorothy the dinosaur, and she comes out, you know, just seeing the, the look in their eyes, it's just wonderful. It's a great experience. Now, my favorite color happens to be red. Are you happy to be the Red Wiggle? Yeah, I was. That's kind of how I ended up being the Red Wiggle. Uh, I had quite a lot of uh, red in my closet, so it seemed to make sense. But these days I don't wear red very often in just day-to-day -day life. Your background is rock and roll. Did you ever imagine kids would be screaming like they are as a Wiggle? No, it's funny. I'd kind of given up the idea of music as a, uh, as a career, and, and that's when the Wiggle started, and, uh, and here we are. So it's, yeah, no, it's not something uh, you know, in, in the 80s I would have really thought about. Well, first, I have to wish you happy birthday. Wiggles are 20. That's right, 20 years of wiggling. It's, uh, it's something that started as a bit of a hobby, and it just kept going. And tell us just about that first meeting of the Wiggles when it first started. Well, we met at, uh, at university. Three of us were uh, preschool teachers, and uh, we just kind of put together... Um, what we knew about children and what we knew about music and uh, came up with an album and we thought that was it and uh, it just kept going. So tell us about the other characters that have come on, Wags, Red Car, just some of those elements. What ones have you thought of? Uh, Dorothy the Dinosaur was my idea. Um, uh, I was teaching actually and, and uh, I needed to come up with some dinosaur. We were, well, I was teaching about dinosaurs and I was looking for a song about dinosaurs and I couldn't find many so, uh, so I made one up <laughs> and it kind of just went from there. And how did, You're in Australia, you're doing well, but when did you realise that in America we would go absolutely crazy for women? Well, we, I guess we just came, started coming over here about 10 years ago and uh, we started in a really small way. We were, we were actually the warm-up act for Barney. Um, we would do five minutes in, the, uh, in Barney's show and uh, it just kind of went from there and, and uh, then we were on the Disney Channel and uh, that's when it just went, went crazy and we started doing bigger tours. You do so much to give back, but when you talk to the little guys, what's the message? I guess um, there's a few messages, but really what The Wiggles is about is about the joy of music and, and I think that's really what it's mostly about, just uh, that music's great, great fun and that children can be part of it. Given all your success, which is tremendous, what advice would you give to others pursuing their dreams? I think just go for it, you know. Um, believe in yourself and, uh, and just do what you know. Like, do the things that you know and what you love. I think that's the, the main thing. Well, you certainly do what you love. Now, I have a question. 
I'm six foot four. You are what? I'm six foot four too. Are you? Okay, <laughs> well, well I, I could qualify. I might be a shade under. I think you're a little taller than me. <laughs> really? I could be a wiggle. Are you the tallest of the wiggles? I am. Actually, when Greg left, uh, I became the tallest because he was taller than me. <laughs> All right. As we go out, I would like to become an official honorary wiggle for the moment. Sure. Teach me something. Okay. How about uh, to to chug a chug a big red car? All right. We travel near and we travel. All right. Start from the front. We'll start from the front. Okay. See if we got it. Toot, toot, chug a chug a red car. Toot, toot, chug a chug a red car. We travel near and we travel.